Hello everybody, I hope you're having a great weekend so far. Happy Saturday morning whenever you see this, but we're gonna make a short and sweet video real quick. There's a couple things I wanna update you on and well heck, I just got off work, it's Friday night and the sun just went down. But we got a major concern going on. Well, I wouldn't call it a, a midlife crisis, but like a midday crisis. I got like the urge on my way home today. I was like, you know what? I want something to go a little bit faster. And I was like, maybe I'll get a car. It's like, oh, I don't want a car. But what about a bigger turbo? And I got a turbo. But one thing I wanted to point out is we're at the stage right now where there is no leaks underneath any of the trucks. Look at this. Look at this. There's nothing leaking. I mean, this one shouldn't leak. And my gosh, dang, this one definitely should not be leaking. But I went through a... <laughs> I wouldn't call it a dry spell with leaks on my 04 here this truck clicked over 328,000 miles on it original engine one set of injector replacement uh i did the trans it's got an mv5600 but i don't actually think i needed to but other than that stock turbo water pump and a couple other miscellaneous but i had first thing that happened with like the order of like events with leaks on this thing uh cracked radiator uh there's Several other people I talked to actually had it crack in the same exact spot. So uh, the inventory was high due to the fact of everything from the 08 getting swapped out. So I had a stock radiator I just swapped in there. And then the CP3 gear uh, cover on the timing housing, that thing was leaking. It cracked. And then there's a couple other things. But as far as a work truck, this thing is pretty much just dusty. But it's got a new radiator stock intercooler the works like i was saying there's a lot of stuff coming off the 08 stock stuff and then some not so stock stuff some stuff that cost quite a bit of money and oh it cost a lot to replace some of the i wouldn't say mistakes but lessons learned with the 08 and well something to comfort my conscience about spending so much money on because i'm gonna be honest with you it is It's like three to four grand ballpark every time a turbo swap BS thing kind of went down, depending on everything behind it that didn't quite work out. But this one does have the pack brake PRXB on it already, and we are going to swap out and put the Steed Speed third gen manifold that came off the 08. It will be a T3 flange just the same and HE 351, but we're going to party. We're gonna see how well that 67 millimeter turbo does on the 5.9. Now there was somebody I was talking to uh, at Pure Diesel Power said that they're running a 67 on their 5.9. I might have to crank up the tunes a little bit. And, but there's two other things that I wanna to touch note on before I show you the fast inventory, the, the cargo container of parts I have uh, relating to these trucks is this truck, it's got enough power to spin some tires, but the problem is it only wants to spin one tire. And it's been that way since I got it and it pisses me off because even if I go out in the snow, it just wants to spin one tire. But it's really annoying when it's just rained and it's just, you know, there's horsepower laying everywhere and I could just spin tires if I wanted, but it only does one. So I think we're going to have to, uh, I don't know, my dad V-belt, he went through and rebuilt the rear end on his 01 and that seemed like a big old hassle. So I'm going to try and find a used uh, 373 gear ratio for this truck so that it won't, I don't know if it's open diff or the limited slip is just not doing its job, but it's not cutting it anymore. I got, got my exhaust all back done on this thing so it sounds mean again and I'm feeling a little childish. Uh, if I want to be quiet, I'll just switch over to the new bird and the 08 it's not really that loud anyway But as far as this one goes this one's it replaced my 12 valve So this thing needs to it it does its job of doing some black stuff at the back in there and well It needs to be able to drift a little bit <laughs> Especially I'm not going out there and drifting when it's dry, but it, it needs to do it when it's uh, raining a little bit or snow because that open diff or something wrong with the limited slip that's got to go we got to fix that and something i always wanted to do and since the guy that inspired me to do it has kind of changed his complete style on everything i want the rear end of this truck to go back down reverse level style when i bought this truck it did have the front leveling kit on it i deleted that because i didn't really like the look of it with uh 
the tires. I had 35s at one time and it's gone through a million different phases and I'm very happy with the way it's sitting now. I just would like that rear end to sit down a little bit more. It's got onboard air with airbags so I can always bump it up but I'll do the, if I can find the differential, I'm going to reverse level this bird. And then one more key thing that I, uh, this might be something that makes you guys a little bit angry too. But when you, uh, like my 12 valve on my 96, it had like a button for each horn. Like your thumbs could get to it real easily. I like rapid fire that at people. It was like my signature to my buddies. You know, I was driving down, I spotted them walking down the street or something. I'd rapid fire that. Well, this truck, that truck, that truck, pushing the horns on these, on these it's... I don't know. I gotta push way too hard and it's just a little weak horn. So Dixie May, this one is for you. I ordered an air horn. And also, by the way, since I am gonna put a bigger turbo on there, I did order the head studs. They should be here uh, a couple days from now, but I was kind of expecting the air horn to be here. I was really wanting to put it on for this video for you guys. It's a simple kit, but I think it'll do the job. If it gives me a nice, easy, I'll figure out something. I think I might put a button on my shifter or something like my uh, exhaust brake is. Some some place, if you guys got an idea for an air, air horn placement button pusher area that I'll, I can get to it no problem, let me know because uh, <laughs> it might sound silly or you might have experience with it. But trying to push this horn, you got to hit it dead center and it's annoying and it's not loud enough. I want to make an impact. I'm not going to be air horn pumping all the time because we're here to have fun but we're not here to be obnoxious and stupid but uh anyway so arp head studs are on the way uh that cost a couple bucks everything costs a couple bucks and when i mean a couple bucks it costs a couple bucks oh and then i was trying to push something with my bumper the other day being being fun and look what it does now it clips the thing it had like an inch of room before it does not have room now. So, other than that, the truck is running strong. I'll run over here to the cargo container and we'll look through the, I just, I wanted to show it a while back, but it's just kind of funny. I haven't really seen too much people show it on their YouTube channels. You know, like the stock parts that are left over or the not stock parts that just get piled up. You hear about them in the basement and stuff, but I'll go ahead and show you guys that because trying to make a good video for you guys but the video I had planned for today it kind of backfired and it's going to co take quite a bit of editing and uh, tractors broke down so you guys probably see that on Sunday so we'll get inside the cargo container real quick <sighs> so I gotta grab some parts out of here too for tomorrow for the broken tractor literally everything right here that those boxes that box, that is, I mean, shoot, manifold. This dates back days. That is the stock drive shaft off of my 96 when I did the five speed swap. That's the automatic drive shaft because it's narrower. Uh, that's got tow mirrors, two new sets of tow mirrors. Uh, stock tow mirrors that aren't powered right there. Let's get that turned off. <laughs> stock intakes. There's some stuff from my Jeep that's a uh, can in. Um, I'm, you know, I'm be honest. I really miss my. I had a Jeep Unlimited. I miss that bird. But I had a K&N air filter that wouldn't pass smoke, so I had to swap that thing out. It guaranteed to increase horsepowers. Did not help the Jeep one bit. Here's this thing that uh, I don't. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. You guys can see it. That thing is. Oh. I'll try to find it. I might put it on a different truck later on because I think I can make shift it to fit. And in this box down there, that I believe that is my stock VGT off the 08. This is the main squeeze the bird right here we're after. Where you at? Yeah, we got. A, there's a steed speed that's going to go on the 04 right there. Um, maybe this is it. Where you at, Turbo? Just by feeling it, what is she? Nope, this is it right here. Good duct tape job. There is the 67 millimeter turbski that is going to go 
on the 04 right there. So those are the two things that we want. Seal this back up so we don't get no moisture in that thing. So turbo or manifold and turbo right there. Also in this box I have even more turbskis. This one is off of my Mega Cab. Uh, it might have had some blow by or the turbo might be bad, not sure. So I bought a new one and they warrantied it and it did the same thing so they gave me another turbo. <laughs> yeah, those are stock ones. I'm pretty sure this is the same exact turbo. I mean, it's not a whole set, but that's the way that new 67 is. So we got those also. We got turbos. Uh, these might be both good. Don't know. We got these also too. Got a couple spares. Not a whole set. Maybe I'll do a giveaway or something and I'll give away a couple head studs out of the 08. I don't know if that's cool enough, but or if I'm cool enough. And in the next box, that is the spacer for your head, whatever, jigger. Oh, stick shifts and stuff like that. I do have a backup NV45 and a backup NV5600 transmission. And then this beloved box right here, you guys might recognize some of this good stuff in there. Yeah. That, that stuff, it hit a pothole and it was a miracle. When it hit the ground after falling off my truck, it didn't ding it up. And then, <laughs> yeah, we're running a little bit low on hydraulic oil. Yeah, so that is all stuff. Oh, there's all stock headlights and stuff up there. I don't know. I don't know if maybe I'll sell some of this or give it away. I'm not quite sure if I'm that cool enough on YouTube that somebody wants some of my junk for a giveaway. But then one more thing I'm going to show you guys up here. Some more stuff that fell off the truck. Just because we're trying to entertain you a little bit more today, we'll show you some more junk. <laughs> I've owned a few trucks and I hit the same pothole every time. But that is a definitely a good feeling to look underneath all of my vehicles. And because I mean, 12 valve, that truck, they were all, it seemed like they wanted to leak oil or leak horsepower. Oh, that can be exhausting chasing leaks. So that is a that is good sight to see that truck, especially not leaking anything. We're all good. And if you're running a 67 millimeter by 67, it's just a HE351 stock hopped out by uh I believe it's performance engineering they're kind of sistered up with uh pure diesel power solid turbo it did a great job on 6.7 if you have any experience with it on a 5.9 comment below let me know uh or just your thoughts on the whole subject on it we're gonna give her a whirl i do have the turbo and it makes me feel better that it can have another use rather than uh being on the truck for a week and i'm to be honest it killed it on that truck right there wherever it is backwards on my viewfinder but we're gonna go ahead and end this video right now Dinner is ready and I'm starving and I want to apologize this video didn't really pan out the way I wanted it to for to the scheduled video anyway. This one might turn out decent but oh, it just it's been one heck of a day. I'll give it that much. I'm trying to stay optimistic and we'll get stuff sorted out tomorrow and you guys will see it on the video for Sunday or Monday. But have a happy weekend everybody. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, viewing my videos. Appreciate it. Hit them buttons. Thumbs up comment and subscribe we'll see you guys next time i mean look at her though also what do you think about flatbed i don't know if that truck's worthy because i like the look of it but flatbed let me know sometime down the road we'll talk later see you guys bye